I was advised late yesterday afternoon the Independent Commission Against Corruption will today uh, release a public statement in which it will state it is investigating allegations made about me concerning matters relating to the former member for Wagga Wagga. I state categorically I've always acted with the highest level of integrity. History will demonstrate that I've always executed my duties again with the highest level of integrity for the benefit of the people of New South Wales who I have had the privilege to serve. I cannot predict how long it will take the ICAC to complete this investigation, let alone deliver a report in circumstances where I was first called to give evidence at a public hearing nearly 12 months ago. Therefore, it pains me to announce that I have no option but to resign from the Office of Premier. My resignation will take effect as soon as the New South Wales Liberal Party can elect a new parliamentary leader. In order to allow the new leader and government a fresh start, I'll also resign from the New South Wales Parliament once I've consulted the Electoral Commission on appropriate timing for a by-election given the COVID restrictions. My resignation as Premier could not occur at a worse time, but the timing is completely outside of my control as the ICAC has chosen to take this action during the most challenging weeks of the most challenging times in the state's history. That is the ICAC's prerogative. Resigning at this time is against every instinct in my being and something which I do not want to do. I love my job and I love serving the community, but I have been given no option following the statement that's been issued today. To continue as Premier would disrupt the state government during a time when our entire attention should be focused on the challenges confronting New South Wales. I do not want to be a distraction from what should be the focus of the state government during this pandemic, which is the wellbeing of our citizens. It always has been and always will be. Notwithstanding the challenges of the last few years and few months in particular, I have never felt stronger nor more confident in my leadership. I have absolutely no regrets during my time in public life. At times we all stumble, we pick ourselves up, we dust ourselves off and start again stronger and wiser than before. I have done this many times as we all have. My only regret will be not to be able to finish the job to ensure the people of New South Wales transition to living freely with COVID. However, I'm extremely confident that whoever succeeds me will be more than capable to continue this job. Please give them your trust and confidence. We will come through this period stronger, more resilient and appreciating what really matters in life. I feel strong, energised and optimistic about the future of New South Wales.